we're going to work on the air side. So just unscrew the air cap from the top of the stanchion. Now we're going to use a 26 millimeter socket on the big silver nut. And these nuts are very low profile. Okay, so uh, it's important. It's important that you're very careful when you use the socket on here. Okay, because you can see they're not very high at all. So you got to get the socket on level and keep it positioned level while you back it off. Okay, so we got that off. Back off your collar. Completely off. Now you can easily just pull the air side right out. So now you've got your air side stanchion. This is your air spring that's contained inside the stanchion. And just like on the other um, damper side, we've got the keys here on both sides. The same kind of bushings, top and bottom. So if, again, if you had to replace the bushings, they're done exactly the same way as we did before. But in this case, we're going to take out the air spring to show you how to take the air spring out and how to relubricate the spring. So once again, you use your pin pliers on the holes on the top cap. Just back that out. Okay, now here in order to release some of the air pressure, you might have to push down on the spring carefully like that. That'll release it. Now you can simply pull it out. Okay, so you got the stanchion and this is your air spring. So the top cap, top bushing, this is uh, if you were going to adjust travel, this is the area where you clip on your travel clips that do travel only. If you wanted to adjust the AC length, you come down here and you put the clips in this area of the air spring and that adjusts AC and travel equally at the same time. Okay, so AC and travel at the bottom, travel only would be at the top. Now, what you want to do, it's always important to keep this well lubricated. So what we like to do is clean off the old grease on the bottom piston. And we use Molly Coat 55 on here. Okay, Molly Coat 55 we feel is the best grease to use on the piston. You don't have to use it all over your fork. It's not an inexpensive grease, but it's a very high quality grease. And what you want to do is just rub it in there. You can see on the piston that you have the black rubber O-rings. And as you're putting the grease in, you want to be able to fill the gap between the black O-ring and the white bumper. Okay, so you just rub the grease in, making sure that you fill the gap. Okay. If you needed to grease the rest of uh, the air spring, this one's good enough, but you'd pack grease in here, mostly just to keep the spring quiet, okay, when you're riding the bike. Then next, you want to come up here, you can use your regular grease, and you want to make sure that you grease all the bushings. Okay. So that, that's all there is to servicing the air spring. So making sure you use a high quality grease on the lower piston. Okay. Your normal grease, we use Slick Honey every place else on here. Then you're ready to reinsert. And of course you're going to trap air in there as you do it. So I use a little Allen wrench on the valve 
and just release the valve as I push the air spring in. Okay. Now, once again, be very careful threading the upper bushing in because it's a very, very fine thread and you could cross thread it if you're not careful. Get your pin plier in there. Okay, and again, you just want to snug it up. It doesn't have to be super tight. Okay, so now you've got that back assembled. Keyways are in place. Your bushing's ready to go. So now we can slide it back in. Making sure you line your dropouts up. The keyways will find themselves. Press your bushing in. Okay, this one is not going in easy for us, so the little trick we showed you before. You can clip a second bushing on, okay, and then just push it in. Then you unsnap the old bushing. Six millimeter nut, thread that back on. You can hold the stanchion from the bottom, pushing it up. That'll make sure that you got the insert tight up against the bottom of the upper here. Okay, then you want to torque this nut down so it's 26 millimeters per side nut. You've got five newton meters on the rebound on the um, rebound side fitting and you're going to do 10 on here. Okay. So that's tight. Simply screw your cap back on. And you're good to go.